real-time strategy planning will turn the tide of war. During battle, you may get to recruit new allies. Hello, it's the 5 Minute Reviewer and once again I'm here to talk about the localization issue. In this case, it's about the upcoming game, Unicorn Overlord. I played the demo and I'm having a blast and I encourage all of you, if you have access to it, to try it out at least for free. Recently, a tweet from this person, I don't know who he is, he's called Zak and I'll attach the tweet to the description below. Um, has, this person has brought to my attention some issues he have with localization. Now before I start, I'd like to say that I don't think the localization is abhorrent and in fact, I think it is quite good or quite okay at the worst circumstance. Now before I continue, let me briefly explain what localization is. Localization is the act of translating text, in this case, from Japanese games into English so that you can access a more international audience. Recently, there has been some controversy both in Japan and the West because they find that some translations deliberately insert their own politics and their own social um, issues into what was not present in the original Japanese text. So I covered these issues in a previous video. So with that, let's focus on the localization of Unicorn Overlord. Now, first thing I notice is that the localizer tends to elongate the dialogue, giving it a more Shakespearean feel. This is unlike the Japanese, the original Japanese, which tends to be more direct. Generally speaking, I'm quite okay with this because it doesn't detract and change the meaning from the original text. This also suits the feel of a medieval fantasy because for most English speakers, the most ancient text that we are familiar with comes from the writings of Shakespeare. And Shakespeare tends to a bit, be a bit long-winded compared to modern circumstances. So like in this scene where the dialogue is very short and curt in the Japanese version, in the English version, the localizer opted for a more longer feel. This reminds me of the scene in Romeo and Juliet where Paris dies and he gives a phrase, Oh, I am slain. If thou art be merciful, open the tomb and lay me with Juliet. Instead of Paris simply saying, Ah, I am dead. The second thing I tend to notice is that the localizer goes for animal motifs. So he tends to put in um, references and analogies and metaphors regarding animals, even though that's not in the original Japanese text. Again, personally, I'm a bit liberal in this. I tend to be okay with this because it's just the way that he prefers to do his translation. We see here there's references to fangs and in the previous picture, there's reference to talons and I'm okay with it. This again alludes to Shakespearean speech where Shakespeare tend to use a lot of analogies in his writings. So like in my favorite play Macbeth, when Macbeth reports the death of the king he to the princess, he said, the spring, the head, the fountain of your blood is stopped. The very source of it is stopped. Clearly using the analogy of a fountain to represent the death of the king to his sons. So in this way, the use of lots of analogy, lots of metaphors, um, I'm okay with it. It's different from how we speak modern in the modern day, but um, it does capture the style of a medieval fantasy. Now, if there's one complaint I do have, is that the localizer may change the tone unwittingly in his effort, his or her effort to translate the text. So like in this scene, um, Elaine, the main character, uh, is more accusatory towards Joseph in the English translation, but he's more neutral in the original Japanese text. But I don't attribute any ill intentions to the localizer here. I think it's just a matter of perspective. So that's my 5 minute take on the localization in Unicorn Overlord. Uh, I hope you enjoy the game and let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree with me. It's okay either way as long as you remain civil. So if you like, subscribe to the channel. If you want me to cover something else, do let me know in the comments also. All of you have a nice day. Take care.